Well, now I'm gonna eat here at this place called Lydia's. Here, let me go on the other side to see if you guys can see. The sign isn't very bright on that side. Lydia's, down home cooking, drive in or carry out. And my neighbor said they have really good food here. Let me show you the special that they got for Friday, which is today. It says fish fry this Friday, 7 a.m. to 8, 8 p.m. So uh, let's go on in, into this restaurant. They got a fish tank over there too. You see the fish tank? And it's just a mom and pop place. I guess I'm just going to wait for, for the waitress to come, too. And they have uh, good food, but it's cheap food. Got to put the ketchup on. That nice bacon. Mm. This plate is only $10, and you know how expensive everything is today. You can't beat it. This is my breakfast and my lunch. This is so much food. I got the half browns right here. Mm. I figure my last day here, I'm I'm going to um, I'm going to eat out breakfast and. Uh, and dinner and then I'll probably have like yogurt and with granola in it once I go home. Okay, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so this is downtown Bridgman right here. It's a place called Accents. I'll probably um, end up going in here. I'll see what they have. So the umbrella looks like a sunflower. That's pretty cool, huh? That's the inside of it. I don't even know if this place is open, but you know, I'll see in a minute. That's the inside there. Looks like they got a lot of jewelry, hats, uh, pottery. Oh, they're not even open. Well, maybe they'll be open uh, later on today or something. Yep, it's closed. This is Lake Street Eats. I 
I, don't, I think this place is closed too. Good grief. Yeah, it is closed. <laughs> there you go. It'll probably, it'll probably be open later. It's a very small town in here. So it looks like they got a bar there. That's pretty cool. Got some drinks there, and this is a small place, small little pub. I think there's a restaurant down there, I'm not for sure. Let's see here. Okay, here's this place called Tapestry. Production facility. I'm gonna walk up here. Right, they have some performers here. Taylor and Jordan. Looks like they already played. Oh, okay, they're gonna come back September 9th, but I won't be here. I'll be leaving on uh, on the 3rd, Oktoberfest. Uh, yeah, this place is closed too. So I, I guess they do all their business at nighttime is what I'm thinking. In the evening time, they probably open up at four o'clock or three or four o'clock. And this place, I don't know what this place is. There's no sign here. There is a place across the street that I want to run over to. Um, I want to run across the street here because I think there's a gift shop over here too. I'll be back. I love all those barrels over there. I'm sure they're either barrels of beer or, or wine. Arjun A Ales. Oh, okay. Cool. That's a, these are beer kegs. Look at these beer kegs. That's what the inside looks like right there. But yeah, everybody, everybody's closed up here, man. I don't know what's going on. Walk down here. Edward Jones Investments. Here, this place is called the Sand Pipe Piper. So I'm gonna go in there. I think they're open, but I'm not for sure. Yep, they're open. I like the fish and stuff like that. Unsalted, no sharks. That's pretty cute. Oh, I'm not gonna bring my camera in there because some people don't like if you do that. Well, I was just walking between buildings and they have a little free library where you can, uh, you just take a book out of here. You take a book out of here and you can read in here. Look at this, isn't this darling? Oh my God. I love the little bird houses. And that's the old flag, old American flag from Betsy Ross days. There's bird feeders in here. Look at the chairs and tables. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I love all this stuff in here. This is such a small town that nobody's open and they only open when they feel like it. That, that's too funny. There's a storage shed over there. That's probably for cutting the grass and weeding and things like that. Let's see what this is down here. Oh my goodness sakes. Is this some kind of a plant or something or? Oh, you guys see that? Yeah, this is some kind of a plant. Oh, I don't know what, what it is. Let's see, let's find it. Yeah, there's like machinery. Oh, you know what? It's to make wool. I see uh, those machines way in the back. 
probably make sweaters and stuff like that. It's way in the back back there. That's pretty cool. too you see that see all that wool yeah make wool sweaters or blankets or anything else it's so cool I like this little threshold thing too oh, look, there's a wine tasting place right here wine tasting and then they have a movies at the park June and July and August, August 17th. Oh, okay, that passed. That's a wine taste. That's a wine tasting in there. It says it's open, but I'm driving, so I don't have any any uh <laughs> I don't want to have any wine, even though I really like wine a lot. Okay, I guess we'll go back to the car and find another place to go. Well, I'm just walking around here in Bridgman, and I just came upon this right here. It says Bridgman American Legion Post. 331, dedicated to veterans of all wars. There's a great big cannon. Look at that. Look at that sucker. Whoa, wee. That's probably used in World War II or something. Of course, the controls are back here. So I have no idea what this stuff does. like the lovers are right here with a probably rusted totally rusted because they don't move at all look at that thing now that is so cool um, I, I guess you bend down and you look through this thing it's like a little lookout thing I'm going on the other side here. And here's a real old cannon. This is probably from the Civil War. Civil War. You can tell that's been there a long time. Real long time. Imagine the, the kickback it has on that thing. <laughs> You can tell it's been painted a bunch of times too. It's really cool. And that's cast iron too. Let me stand back so I can get a better view. And there's the inside. <laughs> 